and I want to have more conversations with diasporans, mm-hmm. not just even people in the music industry, actually not just people in the music industry, but just all all different industries. I want to be like a bridge between Kenya and the diaspora. Yeah. But if you were to speak to diasporans right now mm-hmm. listening to you, what would you tell them? Encourage your kids to actually pursue pursue this thing. Like I understand, you know, safety net, you know, safe careers and everything. But if your kid is good in the arts, just really just show support. I mean, look at the kid that was in. Well, look at the guy who was in the safari rally. Mm. When you look at his story, how, how, he started at what eight? Yeah. I was reading about it in Nakuru. Mm. You know, I mean, look yeah, what, even even younger. Younger. Mm. He's in what stage? Look at his the stage he's competing. That girl's in right Formula One. Yeah, that Homes, could huh? be your, that could be your child. Yep. That could be, you know, that could be your friend's child. Like I met this kid, and, and hey, this is like that's this story is yeah, you're right, I won't end. <laughs> There's this kid who came to cut my grass. Uh-huh. I look at him. His name is his name is O. I look at him and I'm I open the door and I'm not short. But then again, okay, I'm not short. I open the door and I look up. I see this tall kid. He's like six five, six four, six five. I'm like, I was like, hey, he's from SA, very respectful kid. Like even when he's shaking my hand, he's like, you know, he's like this. Mm. I'm like, hey, okay. Uh, now I'm not that old, you know, yeah. but I appreciate it. <laughs> so I ask him, do you ask him his name? He told me his name is Osai, and but he goes by. Oh, I was like, oh, cool. I'm like, he's like, I want to, you know, he's, he wanted to cut grass and everything. And I ask him, do you? So when after he was done and he came and I was paying him, I asked him, "So do you play basketball?" He's like, "Yeah, but I'm not." I'm like, "Why?" So that day I was wearing a shirt. Mm. It says Munyama Basketball Tournament. There's a tournament in Kenya, uh, in the US, every summer, that's called Munyama Tournament. And when I tell you teams from people come from everywhere, mm. even some people come out from out of the country for that tournament. Yeah. And majority Kenyans. Now, as we're getting up old in age, so we can't be jumping with these kids, yeah. or, or you get dunked on. So these guys, you know, I told him, you know, if I looked at him, I was like, if I was you at your age and and at your height, I would at least make sure my education is paid for. That kid took that information and internalized it. He got us he went the he got a scholarship and went to a junior college in Florida. Yo. Then like um last year or two years ago, he sends me a message he's like hey Mr. Mugo, you know, he calls me he's like hey sir, you know, uh I wanted to let you know I was the first person to be signed by University of Florida. Yo. He's playing D1 basketball and I told him That's just part of your journey. I'll talk to you in the NBA. Ah, uh, yeah. I told him no. I told him next next step is NBA. I want to see you in the NBA. Because I was like, you can do it. Now he's six eight. <laughs> What are you going to do? <laughs> What's the guy called? Osai. Ah, uh, yeah, let's wait and see in a few years when you watch this. Oh yeah. Mm. I told him. I'm, I told. Him, I now he's sending messages on Instagram. I'm like, when he'll post something, walking out and everything, walking towards something. I'm like, yeah, let's let's do the work. Let's do the work because I'm like, because me, I looked at him. I was like, you can make. I mean, why? Why can't you're already here? Mm. It's not like he's in Africa trying to yes, go there. Yeah. You're already in the U.S. You're already in the. In the he was six four six five at sixteen. Ish. My nephew is six is sixteen and he's approaching six feet tall. At this, and that I guy's age. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be way taller than that but this other guy was 64 at 16. Okay. So I was like just make the best of the ability. That's a gift you've been given, you know, just make the best out of it. At least get your education paid for. Mm. But I knew once he gets to play at that level he's going to be hungry to go to the next yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bro. Yes. You know, I hate to do this but this needs to be done. <laughs> yeah, no. So first and foremost I want to thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for 
flying all the way from states to come and sit down with me. <laughs> no, thank you because we, we started talking this when when you were when you were in you're back in the yeah, US, when you're, yes. yeah, you know, and it, in fact it's happened real quick, eh? And I remember like when I told you when I when I told you, you were like, no. I was like, you need to do a city on Kwame. He's like, no, I need to do a city on you. Exactly. So I was like, I don't I'm not sure about and that. And I don't think you understand the impact that this thing will have. Uh-huh. I think let you probably by now have felt it and this is me talking because this is probably the last episode dropping yeah by now you'd have felt just how important what it is that you have done yes is but number two thank you so much for coming back home to build the industry you've mentioned so many musicians dude me i was in deep in this game mm-hmm. i knew everybody i could name you all the names oh, man yeah. <laughs> now i'm hearing you talking i'm feeling like a baby i'm feeling like <laughs> the teacher the, the, the student being taught by the teacher oh man but that's so wonderful that you're taking this baton mm-hmm. you've not you're taking you've taken it you've grabbed it by force yeah and you are building you're building you're giving so many opportunities so many different musicians you get what i mean yeah and as they go out there guys are going to be able to say to 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 drop flowers for you and just say this flower is for you know for waizaka because i because i know what he did i wouldn't be where i'm at dude that's huge that's Thanks. so huge that for me you're doing what even kenyans are not doing people in the music industry are not doing because it's this industry sometimes can be a very all about me yes and me me growing you are doing albums and putting giving chances not even to the elite to the to the to those who've made it to the ones people don't even know you get you're investing your own money in it yeah i'm sure by the time you're saying you're coming back with cds for aero uh, hey. <laughs> delivery alone is thirty thousand. yeah i know i trust as a musician i know yeah. i i know what it is that you've done so i'm saying thank you on his behalf and thank you on everyone else's behalf yes but more importantly as somebody who's been in the music industry thank you for what you're doing thank you uh thank you for what you're continuing to do yeah because yeah. it's not over no uh, no um, I, I, and, and i'll and i'll don't worry i'll throw that to you as your parting shot i'll hey. give you a chance to think <laughs> talk, but i just want to say thank you thank you also for coming to cta yeah, yeah. thank you for also what you're doing in the diaspora because i think it's important that you be there you Yo. get people don't understand it's important that you be there so that that even here we can learn and also you can learn there's just a symbiotic relationship that's happening right now yeah they, i'm gonna throw to you the mic uh-huh for you to do your part in short. <laughs> <laughs> um so, cool. oh man. Okay. So uh hey, thanks uh, like thanks for having me on, you know on this show. Mm. And I'm sorry Annie that I know I know you I know you feel like you haven't talked a lot. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's um I feel fact, like I've got a de- I've got a deal for you. Uh-huh. When we come to states, Derek and myself, uh-huh. we'll continue. Definitely. That's Definitely. a promise. De- and now when you come we we'll literally do it in, in your studio st- yeah so that i can play you stuff that i'm working yeah. on so so don't worry so this is stage one this is part one <laughs> this is part one i guess now i bet you're feeling better now because <laughs> <laughs> i'm feeling guilty because i feel like i've left out a lot of people but also i feel like i've left out a lot of information but like we said this is continuous yeah and and um, you know me and kwame say this is a journey we don't you know i keep telling guys guys always on the comments write to me and tell me oh but but he didn't talk about this i'm like but he's still breathing yes i give 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 me the opportunity yeah to to so, to go back and so I, i can even come in like come with new stories yeah because no, i don't know where i'm gonna go from here today no but i promise you uh-huh. the day these two feet land in the states despite all the different country, states that I'm going to go to mm-hmm. I promise you we'll continue this conversation I was going to do this buzzy on me in the back <laughs> no I'll actually I'm willing to do the interview while I'm grilling for you guys uh, I don't have a we, problem we, we can do it don't worry we'll do, <laughs> we'll do it just one camera shoot we'll do it properly we'll we do can it do it in the studio no, we can do uh, nyama yeah. I'll be the host that's been interviewed <laughs> <laughs> so but definitely yeah but I really appreciate it because I remember from the first episode I watched it I was like wow this guy is onto something. I mean these guys are whatever you guys are doing don't stop. Mm. Be, um, you're documenting something that we're not really good at but you've started a culture of documentation especially on the entertainment industry but for you it's so broad that you even bring in you know people who are in advertising mm. that things that I never looked at. Mm. Things that someone like me who's so focused on the music I don't see I might not see where how it plays into what I do. So keep on I mean keep 
Uh, you know, we've been we've been talking for a long time. Mm. But and we now we talk be, more. Now we're talking more. Mm. And we're talking different things because back then was like just, oh man, that remix is dope. But now it's like, hey, whatever impact you have is amazing. So I appreciate that. And uh, just even being on this chair, like some heavy hitters have sat on over <laughs> here. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still working my way up to a heavy hitter. So, but it, it's an honor being, you know, it's an honor for you to ask me to come in and just even just tell part of my story and i hope i've shared enough and we'll continue me i'm ready and like i said karibu man i'll whatever you need to be connected whoever you need to be connected with and i'll make sure before i go back mm. at least one more diaspora person will come in mm. yeah love i want to make sure i want to make sure that happens i love it dude god bless you god bless your kids god bless your family and this is part one Part two, I can't wait to drop the teaser of part two in, in your digs in the studio. <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you, thank you. And same to you guys. And then, man, keep it up. And this is some good stuff. And also, it was nice meeting the, the other guy behind the camera. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I think that's the other side people Dero, don't know. Derek. Yeah. yeah, and it's... it's, it's like, even mention him in I the know, comments. I know. So now it's, it's a collaborative effort. And there's always people behind the scenes that people don't know who they are. Yep. And I always make an effort of mentioning my own. And it's nice to see the guy that you work with and the, the good stuff that you guys are doing. Just for the two of you, I mean, you guys are doing some serious, serious work. This is no joke. And I, like I told you, one day this thing will be turned into a curriculum. It will be taught in school. I love it. I've taken music business class and I'm telling you, this will be used in school. And who knows, I might be the one that will be using it. Yep. Because <laughs> eventually if I retire from production, I want to be a teacher. Nice. But yeah, I want to teach. So that's my other plan. So I'm not going to say uh, it's a wrap. Mm. I'm going to say part two coming soon. Part two coming soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good for that. Okay, sir. And All cut. Right.